Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Aviation Reddit channel. Now, if you have relatively unstable Wi-Fi, then this video is for you. And in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to install the actual base packages for Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. This will, however, at the moment, require a computer or some form of access to the beta versions of the flight simulator. But when SU3 is out, then everyone should have access to this. So as you join us here over in Steam, this will be the, the method in Steam at least for this one of the beta updates. And there will be a video releasing shortly for the uh, Microsoft Store. However, there will be other videos online. It's the same as installing any other beta. Of course, you're just going to go here and go to Sim Update 3, Sim uh, Flight Sim 2024 Beta. And then as you can see behind me already, the Flight Sim will here. Should ask you to update this because I've already got it installed. And when you start the sim there will be a momentary like installation as with any other update and you should be running the beta version now i must say that this will not help your performance for things like the phoenix for the actual downloading of the aircraft itself any third party add-ons this won't benefit because they aren't being streamed they're just of course going from your community file but for certain sceneries and aircraft like the 737 max this does work a treat so now you should open up the flight sim 2024 of course we go over here now i will say that su3 is a little bit buggy especially with this uh gui whatever it's called um just give it some time i've already opened this so it should be fast but go to marketplace and then my library at the top and after it loads Here you have all of the uh, installed packages, well, over installed over here. And then here we're going to go to base contents, and you can see everything here, um, which is being streamed. Now, all of this you can download, of course the file is pretty hefty, all in all it's, I don't know, actually let's see, all in all it's 215 gigabytes. But for me, all I've done so far, as you can see, is installed the 737 Max. We have to click on the aircraft. Uh, that is not what you do. Unselect. Click on the aircraft and download. And after that, it will be installed and should be over here in your file. As you can see here, I've got the 737 Max. And you open up and it will no longer stream from your Wi-Fi. Uh, however, of course, it will take a little bit from your storage. This relatively straightforward tutorial and it should give you an FPS boost, especially if your Wi-Fi isn't the best. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.